In the middle of the village square stood this huge tree. It was old, it was knotted, it was gnarled, it was a little bit dry, it was a little bit rotten, but it was absolutely enormous and it covered almost half of the village square. And every single day, the village carpenter would walk past it and complain about how useless this tree was. He'd say that if I use the wood from this tree to make a boat, that boat would sink. If I use the wood from this tree to make a coffin, that coffin would rot. If I use the wood from this tree to make furniture, that furniture would fall to pieces. Says, if I made a pillar out of it, even the pillar would be worm eaten. What a pity. This tree is so huge and yet all of its life, it has been of no use to anybody. Now, after the carpenter had complained like this about the tree for many, many years, one night the tree came to him in his dreams and said to him, you know what? My uselessness has served me quite well because if I had been useful like the cinnamon tree on the top of the hill or the cherry tree in the meadow, you would have cut me down in my prime. But this way, I have managed to live my own life. I have lived already for a hundred years and I will live for another hundred years because my life belongs to me. So what's the moral of this story? Very simply that you don't have to spend your entire life just being purposeful or being productive or being of some use to somebody else because your life belongs to you. And you need to remind yourself at least occasionally to live it for yourself because you know what you only get one chance at life when it's gone it's gone